Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we will be installing macOS Sequoia, that is macOS 15, on a virtual machine on our Mac. And we will be using the application known as UTM. So if you are on a Windows PC, uh, you can definitely try macOS Sequoia, that is macOS 15 on VMware. So I have uploaded the video. So you can go through this video and install macOS Sequoia or at least try macOS Sequoia on your VMware on a virtual machine. So in today's video, we will be installing macOS Sequoia on a Mac device and we will be using the UTM application. So first and foremost, these are the things required. So first of all, you have to download the macOS Sequoia IPSW file. I will provide all these download links in the video description below. So you can simply click on these links and download the files. Once this file is downloaded, you have to download the UTM for Mac. This is an application and you can simply click on it and add it to your applications folder. The third thing is Xcode 16 beta. So if you are running an old version of a Mac, you need to download this Xcode 16 beta. I have provided all these links. So I have downloaded all these files. So I am skipping this process. So this is my IPSW file and this is the Xcode beta. You simply double click on it to extract this file and you will get this installer Xcode beta. Just double click on it to install it. So now you have to launch your UDM. Once your UTM is has started, simply click on create a new virtual machine. Now click on virtualize and select Mac OS 12 plus. Now simply click on browse and import the IPSW file that you have just downloaded. Just click on it and click open. Now in memory, you have to keep it as 8 GBs, so this is the recommended value. You can also alter it depending upon your system's configuration. For CPU cores, I will recommend it to keep it to 4. So once this is done, click on continue. As for the size, I'm keeping it 80 GBs and clicking on continue again. Now you have to name your virtual machine. So I'm keeping it macOS Sequoia by techreacher.com and click on save. Once this is done, just click on this play button and you will get this pop-up for the confirmation and just click OK. So this process may take some time and sometimes it may appear that nothing is happening, but you can see this progress indicator in the Windows title bar. So as you can see that current installation is at 11%. So you just have to wait for a while until this is restored. So once uh, the Mac OS Echo is restored to your virtual machine, it will directly boot into the hello welcome screen. So you can now uh, set up your Mac OS Echo in your virtual machine as if it were a new Mac. So simply click on this arrow to continue. Now select your language. So I'm keeping, keeping it as English India. Now click on this arrow again. Now select your country, for me it's India, so I'll keep it India and click on continue again. You can customize these settings if needed or else you can click on continue. Click on not now and click on continue again. You can migrate your system if, you, if needed or you can simply skip this process by clicking on not now. Now you can sign in with your Apple ID. If you want to skip this process, you can simply click on setup later and click skip. Now accept these terms and conditions and click on agree. Now you have to create your computer account. For this, you just need to type in your full name. So I'm keeping it 
techrichard.com account name is techrichard.com and you have to type in your password and verify it once done click on continue so once your account is created you can click on continue now simply click on the map and choose your location for me it's new delhi and click on continue continue again and set up data you can enable siri if needed or you can leave it as it is now you can choose your look light dark or auto no i'm testing it on a dark mode and click on continue So congratulations, you are now running macOS Sequoia in UTM on a virtual machine. So unlike any other virtual machines, the macOS Sequoia is fully functional and has internet access. You can now update the macOS Sequoia from the settings. Click on general and go to software updates. So as this is already updated, So uh, by using a virtual machine, it provides a convenient way to run and test various operating systems without affecting your primary OS. So whether you are running Mac OS, Windows or Linux, virtual machine offers a world of possibilities. So you can just try out Mac OS Sequoia and enjoy it. So I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, do give it a like and do subscribe us. Thank you so much.